So I'm here with Lowry, who's got some very interesting looking modules. So you've got a sort of VU module and something including drums, yeah. which makes me very interesting. Tell oh, me all about it. Sweet. Uh, good morning, good afternoon. My name is Lowry, indeed, from Vasky. And uh, I have a module here, which is your fancy uh, VU meter. So I had a rack full of drum synthesizers. And uh, you know, you play the drums and, and you hear the voices, but then when you're demoing it, then you get lost where all the different sounds are coming from. So I made a VU meter originally. Uh, you just plug in the sound, you see what's actually happening. There's different modes to it, and I made it small enough that you can really have one next to every sound source in your rack. So uh, let's just play something here. This, this one is showing uh, like a level uh, VU bar on the right. And then the other one is actually showing an oscilloscope. Um, in a whole beautiful three pixels. And this started as a multiband VU meter, so you can see your bass and uh, mids and highs separately in different colors. So when you're playing a uh, full mix, you can see, you know, you can actually see on stage how your, how your levels are like. That is very, very cool. And then uh, I added a spectrum analyzer. There's a lot of modes, huh? because for a uh, full drum kit, I have a 6 mod 6 here as well. For a drum kit, it's nice to see where your different sounds fit in the, uh, in the soundscape. There's an oscilloscope, there's a slower oscilloscope for LFOs and such. Um, what else do we have? Uh, we have just uh, like unipolar and bipolar CV visualizations, just a bar that shows uh, what voltages you have coming out. Um, Tell you what, if we flop over spaces, then sure. Yeah, that's easier. That's side, easier. Now that's it. Now I can uh, film you hitting things, and I can. Yeah, reach and in. Um, one of the nice ones is uh, like you have like a peak, um, a peak meter, which shows you the peaks of your sounds. But then usually, of course, the sound itself is not going to be all the time at the peak level. So you also see the uh, like uh, more like an RMS right, view yeah, of yeah. it. There's also a separate RMS mode, so you really see over time how the sounds, uh, sounds are evolving. So how many modes has it got? 13, I think. Wow. I added quite a lot, so um, I don't really keep track of the exact <laughs> count. There's a mid-side mode as well, because the input is stereo, so uh, you can... Now this is now connected as a uh, mono input, so there's only a mid-signal going in. But if you plug in a stereo input, then you can see on the right side, so this is the left side and the right side, you'll see the stereo content. Um, there's the uh, CV modes, and there's a tuner, right. This one is good to mention. Uh, people seem to be interested in that. So my synthesizer is actually in tune, but when you have, there you go. You can, you can just see what is coming in and uh, tune it, no problem. And then switch to whatever mode you actually want to see say, the spectrum analyzer. And this may be hard to pick up on camera, but it's got lots of very, very tiny LED modules. How many LEDs on there? That is, uh, it's three pixels wide and 31 tall. But you can change in the settings brightness. Uh, you can change this to different color sets as well. And there's a configuration inside, so you can configure it as mono input or stereo input. So how do you get in there and change all the parameters? What's, ah, the, what's the control? You just press the button, long press. Long press, and you're in the menu. It changes brightness, you can change colors. For the uh, single so channel modes, you can choose the color, going. yes. Got you. Oh, and there's a clipping LED as well. So y you can turn it off if you don't like it. But if you give it a really loud input in the corners, if I turn the level up, it will clip on your mic as well. Uh, yeah, no. It should it should blink in the corners, two red LEDs uh, when your uh, signal is clipping. So that can be also handy when you're mixing stuff. Neat. And I see. Is this the same device that you've just got under? Uh, uh, this is actually where it started. So I made this for Superbooth as like a fun demo thingy, because I had really a rack full of drum synths there. 
And then this was the one module that everybody was asking about. Well, what is this? Can we have it? <laughs> Where oh do no. we get this? So they didn't ask you about the drums, they what the LEDs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Damn. so that's how it goes. Um, I started first with the uh, drum input modules. Right. So you can just use an envelope follower or something for drum pads. You can get these drum pads real cheap, second hand. Um, but they are multi-zone pads, so you can trigger them you know, separately in the center and on the side. And that you can't just do with a normal uh, envelope follower. Is so this something you've built yourself? Yeah, this is what I, I wanted to see how sensitive the input module is. So this is just two PSO microphones in a slab of cup coasters, right? So, but it works beautifully as a, as a finger drumming. Uh no, I can't actually hear myself, but that's fine. It sounds great. Yeah, it's very uh, made to be very sensitive. Uh, there's basically no jitter. Uh, and you get rid of all the MIDI and stuff, so it just works. You get a trigger output, uh, you get a CV output, um, and the way it works is you can just plug it in anywhere, just like you would plug in a sequencer. Are you selling this as a, a, a kit of parts? Well, obviously not, not the coasters, but uh, no, the, no. The, uh, the, uh, the sensors. The, the sensors, I think I bought them from somewhere. You can just get them anywhere, just standard piezo microphones. Okay. Just like in the Roland pads, uh, there's, there's two uh, piezo microphones in there, so it's no different from that. Uh, the triggers are available. You can go to vasky.nl, just buy from there. And okay, tell me about the drum modules. Um, so here I'm using the zero cost as a drum synthesizer, right? But I have four different trigger zones in my drum pads now. So I have in between a switch, I call it a triggered switch. One module has two channels. So with trigger inputs from two different pads, I can switch between the channels and I get as an output four CVs, which just go into the zero coast and control anything you want to control. I think the first one is pitch, second one is decay and so on. And uh, the triggers switch between the two different channels. And it's an analog switch, so you can plug in I have here the velocity from the trumpet, but it could be an LFO or uh, envelopes or anything. And you can connect these modules. So here I have four channels, from so two times two modules. Um, so one synthesizer gets input from the four different pads. Excellent. And what what have we got hiding on this on this larger rack here? Anything different or just the, the same thing multiplied? Mm, yeah, so this is really more to, uh, to demo the, the uh, lights module. Okay. I have a, yeah, a drum uh, computer, drum mixer. Um, and you can really see here more stuff going on with the spectrum uh, analyzer. This one is nice. This is the slow LFO mode. I'm using the wobbler here to demo because it does really crazy things. So if you just want to see what it is you're actually hearing, then yeah, could you really hear that? Depends. That does look super nice. I like that a lot. Yeah, it's an oscilloscope, right? You can put in an envelope, uh, you will see uh, yeah, in in exactly what you're expecting to see. Factor. That's brilliant. I have the module here as well, if you want to see. Yeah, cool. Uh, because I did pack it in 2HP intentionally, and it, does, it fits into the 4MS pods. It fits into the intelligent cases. I really tried to make sure that, you know, we are ready for skiffs. Uh, and there's the uh, configuration. So it's a tiny, tiny dip switch right. to change the, le uh, the uh, voltage levels for input and stuff. Kind of expecting that you don't really need to change that once it's in your kit. And the rest is software then in the menus. And is it available now? It is available. Uh, the first batch uh, was sold out. I have a new batch coming next week. Uh, it is available. Also at vasky.nl, you can uh, get on the waiting list there. And how much? 140 euro. I really tried to keep the price uh, reasonable. Actually, that is quite tempting because it's brilliant to see what... And again, it's a stereo going. input. So you can uh, use it to monitor stereo mixes. You get the mid-site uh, signal analyzer. Uh, but you can also configure it so that one of the jacks is an input and the other one is a passive output. So you can pass through. You don't need to use multiple um, uh, the the stackables, uh, stack cables like I'm using here. Nice. Um, but if you use it in stereo mode, get some stack cables as well. Excellent. Many thanks for that. Thank That's you. A very very tempting module. Cool.